Week 12, problem 10. A thin film of oil with n equals 1.25, index of refraction, is located on smooth, wet pavement. When viewed perpendicular to the pavement, the film reflects most strongly red light at 640 nanometers and reflects no green light at 500. Hmm, I'm going to change this to 512. You'll see why in a bit. Oh, 512 nanometers. How thick is the oil film? All right. So, draw a picture. So we have, uh, now oil has to be, is it black or is it blue? I got this oil is gonna be blue. Oil, and then we have, which is actually flat. I just drew it all curvy because I'm a terrible artist. And then we have um, the smooth pavement below it. The idea here is between the two, we have red light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where's the pen? There's the pen. Red, where red comes down, hits the ground, comes back up. Down, up. And this is completely reflected. So that's 640 nanometers before it gets into the oil. All right? And then we're going to have green which comes down, goes up, and is completely reflected. So, what happens, oh, that's not what I wanted. Let's see, 512 nanometers. 512 nanometers. All right, so what happens is, we know since green um, reflects, or is completely destructive interference, it's gonna have N lambda plus lambda over two. And for red, we know it's going to be m lambda, where m is just an integer and lambda is uh, red. And it's going to be wavelength of the red in oil, and it's going to be uh, wavelength of the green in oil. Put a little g over there. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the wavelength of the light in the medium. So we know that velocity equals distance divided by time, which is wavelength times frequency. Frequency doesn't change. So we have uh, velocity over uh, wavelength. We know if velocity is the same, and index refraction says 1.2, which is the inverse of the speed, which means that the speed is actually speed of light divided by 1.25, that means if velocity goes down, but frequency stays the same, that means lambda also has to go down. So the lambda of red is actually going to be 640 divided by 1.25, which is, bum bum bum, 512. Oh, interesting. 512 nanometers. All right, and it's going to have the same thing for 512. gives us 409.6. Okay. Mm, make it green. 409.6 nanometers. And that's the wavelength. All right. So now I'm just going to find various wavelengths that work and kind of see if I can find a pattern. So for this to have Hmm. We know that this has to have a, and a full wavelength. But it's going to travel half down and half up. So the thickness, the minimum thickness for red will be a wavelength over 2. So the minimum wavelength will have will be 256. The next one it would have be 512. And then I'll do 512 plus 256. 768. There's probably a more efficient mathematical way of doing this. But mm, this is hopefully going to be easy enough. 1024. I guess I should have known that one. All right. Now these guys, can I just change these all to red? Change to red. Color and size. Red. There we go. Those are red. Now for the green. So green is going to be. Um, 
destructive. So to be destructive, this guy is going to have to um, end with a half-wave length. So the smallest it could be would be wavelength over 4 distance here. So this is a wavelength over 4 distance. I'll go quarter wavelength down, half a wavelength back up, and I'll end up having traveled one half wavelength. Quarter down, quarter up, total half wavelength distance. So for here, the minimum distance for red is going to be a half wavelength. Yep. And then the next smallest would be 3 pi over 4. And then after that would be 5 or 5 lambda over 4. So if we double this, then we get 6 lambda over 4, which is 3 halves. Check, because you have to end in a half. We double this guy, and it's going to be 10 lambda over 4, which is 2.5. 1.5, 2.5, etc. Because you have to take into account the travel going down and the travel going back up. So I'm going to find 4 uh, lambda over 4. Now, right here, these are the possible thicknesses of the um, oil. So I'm going to do 409.6, 409.6 times 1 divided by 4. And I get 102.4. Change that category with 3. 307.2. Change that category with 5. No, not what I meant to do. 512. Aha, got one. All right. So what this says is if we have um, an oil thickness that is 512 nanometers, then the red will end up having exactly, will have constructive interference, while green will have completely destructive interference. Now I'm going to check this guy real quick just to make sure, you know, not too far off. So we have an index refraction of 1.25, which means that the wavelength has to get smaller. So 640 divided by 1.25 gives us a wavelength of 512. Okay? So we have 512. Now half of that's going to be 256, so it'll travel down and up. Now be give us one full wavelength. Nope, that's not how we want. But if it's 512, then it'll do a full wavelength down and a full wavelength back up, which will end up with an um, integer value of wavelengths. So it'll be positive. Uh, constructive interference with red. So check, correct. So 512 should be over there. All right, now let's check with the green again just to make sure. So we'll do 512 divided by uh, 1.25 because it's in oil. And we have 409.6. Yep, that's what we had. So if we had, uh, we wanted to travel a total of, let's see, this was 6 fourths. So 1.5 wavelengths, 0.5 wavelengths means it's going to be destructive interference. Then it had to be 0.75 uh, each way. Okay, that seems reasonable. So 0 0.75, 0 0.75 times uh, was it 409.6? 409.6. Should give us. Hmm, nope. We want to do the five fourths one. Five divided by four. So five divided by four. And the way we can do the five divided by four is because in total that will give us 2.5. The 0.5 is what makes it destructive. Now give us a total thickness of oil of 512 nanometers. So we look at these common. And those are it. Constructive for red, strongly reflects red, and destructive for green. No, it reflects no green. How thick is the oil film? 512. And it could be more than 512, but it would be multiples of 512. I think it would be multiples of 512. Hmm, I'd probably have to check to make sure. But that's the concept for this guy. 
So not too bad once you understand that you have to land on a complete whole number and you'll get positive constructive interference. If you land on a 0.5, you'll get destructive interference. All right, that's it for problem 10 on problem 11.